important for me to have staples in the fridge and this is one of the things that I have that I, is a must have for me. Sourdough starter, I've had it for over a year now and it really, really allows me to make that really good crusty uh, French bread or baguette um, on a regular basis and I keep it in the fridge and every week I am making bread on the weekend. Um, it also really allows me to connect to my roots of having that European style French bread um, that I love so much. Day to day in my fridge, I always have some type of European style butter. Um, what really makes this butter unique is the milk fat content. So this uh, cow's creamery butter it has 84% milk fat. And really what that means is that there is a higher uh, fat to milk ratio which as a baker um, allows you to really get those like flaky, buttery, um, really creamy type of desserts. Um, when you think of croissants, for example, the ones in Paris, they're so good because you're using that European style butter. This is the closest that I can get to the butter that they have in Europe. Um, so this is an absolute must for me in my kitchen. Um, the reason why I also love it is because it really reminds me of when I go home um, to my mom's hometown to visit my grandmother and my grandfather um we're always baking with um european style butter at home over there so it really allows me to connect with them as well here in canada in my life at vanilla bean lane i'm really trying to source uh ingredients that are local and sustainable um and here's an ingredient that i really wanted to bring with me on uh, ctv's cross-country cake off wild blueberry jam um they're currently out of season usually i would make it myself um because it's winter i ended up buying some but this is one of my favorite, favorite jams. And the reason why I love blueberry, uh, wild blueberries over regular blueberries is because they are grown in areas where there has been a wildfire before. They are very nutritious and they're the most flavorful blueberries you can ever get. And Canada is one of the biggest suppliers. So here we are, one of my favorites. At home, one of my favorite things to do is to bake for special occasions. And with Chinese New Year coming up, um, this year I really wanted to try to make some pineapple tarts, which is really a really fun little staple dessert uh, for that holiday. And I really wanted to do it for my husband and his family. And so I made the pineapple tarts and I reserved the juice um, so that we could enjoy it at home. So this is what it looks like. We have it in a nice glass, we keep it in the fridge, and we're currently drinking it every morning before work. Just to show you what the pineapple tart looks like, here it is. 